She's an icon. She's a legend. She is the moment. Period. <laughs> Hey gems, it's Girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a boot haul, a fall boot haul and I am so freaking excited to show you these pieces. I've been ordering like little by little by little so that's why I haven't been able to drop the video when I wanted to. Actually as I'm speaking right now I'm still waiting for three more orders to come in. Well. It was one order, but the pieces are coming one by one. And I'm just like, listen, I need to tell the girls about these boots before they sell out completely because already I'm hearing that they're selling out. And that is not okay. Like, I need the gems to get their hands on them ASAP because I have some bangers to show you, okay? But before we jump into the video, are you motherfucking subscribed, Miss Man, Mr. Sir? Are you subscribed? What exactly are you waiting for here? Huh? Please. It is midnight o'clock, okay? It is midnight and I'm drinking an energy drink. Alani New Breezeberry. Yeah, it's that kind of night. So let's hop into the video, okay? Subscribe, bell notifications, comment, like, share. You know the deal. Stop playing with me. Thank you. If y'all could see this wagon. <laughs> Let me push her back out the frame. Y'all, I have so many boots. Mind you, these are the pairs that I'm keeping. I have some pairs that I received, didn't like, returned. Received, didn't fit, returned. Um, and I'm going to go over some of those with you guys. But for now, we're going to start with the ones that I do have. And I'm going to keep, okay? Period. So, um, how do I want to do this? So I got boots from Journey Collection, Nordstrom, Amazon, and Fashion & Figure. Fashion & Figure is the most complicated, so I'm going to save that for last. Um, I only have two from Amazon, so let's start with that. I was never that girl to wear Uggs. And I didn't understand that. I mean, I understood it in theory. Like, I know they're comfortable. People say that they're comfortable. But I was like, mm, it just doesn't give me the look that I like, okay? I'm more of a Nike boot kind of girl, okay? I might even do a Tim. Uh, 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 what you call it? Bread and butter? What do you call them? Beef broccoli is the orange chicken? What do they call the, the orange tits? Y'all know they are. I would do that before I do an Ugg, okay? Or so I thought. Uh, I saw these on Amazon for the cheapity cheap cheap cheap. Well, not cheap, but these are 50 bucks. And these are from the brand Cushion Air. And I like them because they're known for like their memory foam stuff. I have some other shoes and sandals from them. Listen, I said memory foam? In a fur lined boot? Please sign me up expeditiously because it sounds like everything I need. Because it started getting chilly here in Atlanta, especially like at night or early in the morning. And um, when I'm running out the house to run a quick errand or something, I'm usually throw on slides kind of girl. But now that it's chilly, I can't just do that. And I don't necessarily want to put on sneakers either. So I was like, I might cave in and get an Ugg for that in between. So I could just slide my foot in it and be out the door, okay? When I'm on my zoom, zoom, zoom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> so I said, let me go ahead and get these. Now, I actually wanted to, because I remember last year, or maybe two years ago, I was eyeballing these um, short red Ugg boots, and I wish I had gotten them. Like, I wish I had gotten them, because I want colored boots. But on Amazon, they did have these by the brand Cushionaire. I have the brown one, and I also bought them in black. And they did not tell y'all, when I slide my feet into these boots, mm, like, I'm sorry, but there's absolutely nothing attractive about these, but they are so comfy, and I am now officially that girl. When I tell y'all this year, I have been tested beyond belief. All the things that I used to say I would never do, I have been doing them. Like, it's Shamima stepping outside her box for me. <laughs> it's Shamima trying new things for me. It's Shamima not limiting herself for me. Baby, I never in a million years thought I would be an ugly girl. Like... The way I used to trash the girls in college, like, 
Oh, coming to class in PJs and Ugg boots. Wash y'all, nyash, please. But these are actually everything, and just walking around in them when I was recording the footage, I. I'm officially an Ugg boot girl. And I mean the real things, the fake things, all the things. I'm an Ugg boot girl now. P please, please. So comfy. Like I would totally go out like this shirt, black leggings, and throw this on and run to the grocery store. The comfort, please. The comfort. Love it. So yeah, I got it in this color. And I also got it in black because baby, if it ain't black, then it's whack. <laughs> <laughs> and here is a black pair and it's like black black okay not off black not janky black it's black black oh my gosh are you actually kidding me y'all if y'all could put y'all foot i swear they're even softer than the real uggs i'm not gonna lie i feel like i touched the inside of a real ugg and i was like mm, this doesn't feel that soft i'm sure it feels great on the feet but when i'm touching it it doesn't feel good i think they say that's a real like sheep fur they said it's something i don't remember what exactly i could be lying too but baby this little fake fur in here by cushion air but when i said if i could lay my whole body inside the shoe i would i'm so serious i, I dead would Okay, so next let's get into the Journey Collection boots because I don't have too, too many of those. Um, you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, last year I bought quite a few pair of boots at the end of the, the season. So I didn't get a chance to really wear all the boots that I bought. Mm, so I decided to get more because why not? <laughs> Where is the lot? There's literally no logic and I'm okay with that. So from Journey Collection, they have like wide calf boots and they have the extra wide calf i always 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 get extra wide calf because those fit me like perfectly okay like i can't gain another pound perfectly so i wanted to get these boots because i feel like these are really cute for dressing up a look especially if i'm wearing like leggings and a cute top for a night out on the town something like this would be perfect now i actually already wore these out <laughs> Um, and I was like, okay, I lasted a good 30 minutes on my feet. I mean, I was standing up and sitting down, you know, rotating, but I was doing okay. My bunion was getting a little spicy, but I didn't wear my bunion cover. So that lets me know, make sure you wear it next time. Um, I get my boots in a size 11 and yeah, it's leather, point toe, a classic shape. I wish the heel was black, but I mean, it's fine. You can't really tell, um, when you're dressed up anyways. And overall, it's just a cute, simple boot that I can throw on for a cute look and be out the door. I got these especially for like jeans and leggings. So I was like, you know, she gonna do what she need to do, baby. Okay, period. Shout out to Journey Collection, okay? Zooing what they need to zoom. So next from Journey Collection, I got these boots here. And I really like this snake print because it's black with white and gray detailing on it. Um, a moderate heel, like, are y'all seeing these heels? First of all, round of applause for boots I can actually walk in. Like, boots that fit, that are reasonably priced, and I can walk in them? Y'all, it's the triple threat for me, like, Oh my god, I love that for me. Like, I just mean we could wear a heel and go out and I walk from the car to the venue. Shocked and appalled. So I said, let me go ahead and grab these, baby. Okay. Now, Jimmy, me taking too long. You have 36 boots. So just show the girls and keep it moving. But yeah, super cute. Almond ish toe. And I love her life. Haven't worn her out yet, but I'm sure I'm going to love her life. So the last boot that I got from Journey Collection are these thigh high, um, in my mind they're flats. Like, I mean, come on, this one and a half inch heel, please give her to me. Um, rounded square toe snake, ooh, all black snake print boots. And when I saw this on the website, baby, I gagged, okay? I gagged because I absolutely needed her. Um, except that when I put her on, she wasn't very much giving thigh high, but rather knee high. Um, she tried. Bless her heart. Uh, she tried, but the print is cute enough and malleable enough that I feel like I can still finesse it as like a slouchy knee high. Um, I wore these to take pictures, didn't wear them out out, but when I was taking pictures, they were kind of hurting my ankle, um, where the zipper was like slouching right here. 
Um, so I feel like if I wear socks or something like that, then that should be fine. I'm trying to remember if I wear socks or not. Like tall socks to help protect my skin from the shoe. Um, hopefully that'll do the trick and it won't hurt when I wear these out because I feel like this is perfect for like running to the mall or you know what the case may be when I want to do style and comfort, honey. Oh, she's cute. But yeah, so that's definitely one that I purchased. Okay, so now we're going to get into the boots from Nordstrom. So the first pair is from Katy Perry Brands, which I didn't know she made shoes, but look, look at her, look at her. The razzle dazzle of this shoe is just flooring me. Now, I have these and I also have a boot that's similar that I also got from Nordstrom from the brand Mark Fisher and she was gorgeous. Similar mm, kind of in, in, in hue. This one is more like gunmetal silver sparkle as opposed to the other one was more silver glitter sparkle. Um, and it was point toe and I feel like point toe just dresses everything up automatically like just takes it up a level But those shoes even though the heel wasn't super high It was quite uncomfortable with these boots right here There is a little bit of padding inside that will protect the ball of your foot Maybe I'm sick and tired of these brands not putting nothing in these shoes like nothing It's like legit concrete at the bottom of the shoe put something like y'all gotta be kidding me, bruh Y'all got no budget put no kind of padding in the shoe there's no reason why a two inch, three inch heel should hurt walking from the room to the door. Like that's ridiculous. I don't care how much it costs, please. Um, so I decided to keep these and return the other ones because I'm just like, it still gives even though it's not point toe. It still gives because the color, the print, all of that, the, and the, the comfort, which means this is not just gonna be an Instagram boot. I'm actually gonna wear this out and about. And that is super important to me. So that's why I got these babies. Oh, they're so cute. When I tell y'all I'm here for being extra this, this fall and winter, like, I keep saying I'm a dress up go to Target and I haven't been doing it. I'm, I'm about to turn that shit on. Period. Next, I have this super cute booty from Jessica Simpson. And I don't care what's going on, what the girls say, who is popping. Jessica Simpson is my girl, okay? From her fragrances to her shoes to whatever, whatever she does, it's going to be something that I like, okay? That's my girl. So when I saw these online, I said, oh, baby. I'm like, are not even picking up what I'm putting down? Like, oh, I'm telling y'all, the gorgeousness of this booty please please darling now these aren't as comfortable as i would like them to be it does have a little padding but the toe bed is a, it's a little tight you know it's a little, it's a little tight um i do have normal with feet um but y'all know i got a messed up toe a messed up toenail from when i broke it so she she is she's a little particular so i don't like to put any pressure on her because i feel like if i do that she might just fall off one day like again you know like i, I don't want no smoke with sis okay she got you got it sis please it's winter though so if she fall off i'm gonna be good i'm gonna be in the boot anyways <laughs> do what you want <laughs> Um, but no, so I wore these to take a picture and I thought that outfit was so cute. Can't wait to drop it on the gram if I haven't already. Not sure yet, but these are so, so cute. I absolutely love them and I feel like this is the kind of shoe, even if you can't walk in it, you got to wear it one time for the one time, okay? You got to throw it on one time for the one time because baby, she gives, darling. Absolutely gives. Ooh, what you mean? But come on, move on, move on. <sighs> 28 more boots to go. Next, I have these super cute booties here. And I wanted these because one, I don't have anything blue, nowhere near the shade, blue at all, period. And they have a platform, which, you know, lessens the heel. Jessica Simpson, again. Did these have patty in them? I feel like these were a little, somehow this was a little spicy when I put them on. It has the tiniest bit of something on the floor, but. It's not doing much, and she could do more, but y'all know. I'm gonna give it a pass. At least she did some better than some of these other brands. Um, and she's just absolutely adorable. Like, mm, and I like that it's leather and not suede because a lot of blue shoes comes in like suede or fuede. Um, so it's giving hype, baby. It's giving a fashionista, it's giving style icon. Okay, period. Come on, somebody. 
Yes. Love it. So next we have the same boot but in a different color and material. So this is that foil material that I was trying to stay away from with the blue. But once again, I don't have anything this color. So I said, let me go ahead and take the plunge. But baby, it's giving stay out the rain, stay out the snow, stay out of the elements. And pray she don't bleed on nothing, okay? But she's super cute though. I love the vibrancy of this color. Because it is frayed, I don't know about the longevity. Like, I can't speak for that. I just got it. But she's so cute though. Like, look it. Isn't she cute? Isn't she lovely? And I love that the zipper is the same color as the boot. I mean, this right here is silver, but like, you can barely tell. So, if you don't want to mix metals and you want to wear gold, you can absolutely do that. Love that. Go ahead, Jessica. My girl. Y'all, I'm trying to fly through these boots, okay? Listen, when I saw these boots, <laughs> I said, I love these. Now, y'all know I am a big Sam Edelman fan. Like, I love his shoes. I feel like out of all the shoes I've purchased, his are usually the most budget-friendly that actually has pizzazz and style and is comfortable for a heel like as padding he actually takes the time and invests in his shoe to make it somewhat comfortable for a heel so when i saw these oh i said my man sam made some boots mm. these are the biggest clunkiest boots ever and i'm obsessed because it's giving um cold play paramore it's giving um i'm about to go to what's that uh uh festival where they like like a, a rage i don't know but it's just it's giving and whenever i see boots like this all i think in my mind is all black like all black and i love it oh i absolutely cannot wait to wear these boots once again super easy to throw on the foot it's actually very roomy i mean they're just huge in general and i already have big feet but i also got a big body so it still matches period and I absolutely love the detailing. I mean, I can't commit no crimes in this. I can't run up on nobody. I can't rob a bank because they're going to know it's me. But it's very cute to look at. <laughs> it's very much giving fingerprint, footprint, boot print. Jimmy was here. I was here. Period. <laughs> Somebody cancel me, please. Because <laughs> what was that? These are so big. And I love it. Like, they're huge. Do I have to a stalk somebody? <laughs> Listen, talk to me nice. Cause once I give you two per, cause I need two per so I can get the stomping in my Air Force Ones. I always confuse Air Force One song with a town song. And I don't understand why that happens. And I truly hate that for me. Now this pair is a little bit different for me. <laughs> um, but I wanted to take a plunge because it is different. And I'm just like, Jamima, like, I know you like simple, classic looks, a little pop of something, something. But it's time to, like, break outside the box. It's time for you to try new things and actually try new things. Like, it's okay for you to stand out. It's okay for you to take up space. It's okay for you to, do, to be a little extra. Like, have fun with your wardrobe. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. Exhibit A. <laughs> Once again, my man Sam. When I tell y'all, I am obsessed with these boots. Like, everything about this is so different and I love everything about it. Okay, so, first of all, the color. It's this puke pea green slash lime green. Like, I don't even know how to describe this. But it's reflective because it has like this... It feels like they saran wrapped it. Not saran wrap, but laminated it or something like that. Which I like because that means I can get it wet. I'm not saying it's a rain boot, but for a couple drops drizzle on it, I don't have to worry about it. Like I have to worry about uh, Miss Fuade with Jessica Simpson, okay? So that's number one. The material, number two, the color. Please, huh, please, who check it for me? Mm, love it. Number four, no, three, what? Number three, the heel. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see the heel? I love that it's different. It stands out, it's giving, um. The sand measure thingy. Um, love that. I love the wide base, but it's not like that 
thin and come out the wide. I actually really hate that heel look, even though it's super helpful for me. I like this better. Like, it gives a little razzle-dazzle, it stands out. I love the geometric shape of it. Like, it's just, it's giving. It's giving. Same color with the boot. Like, it's just, it does what it needs to do. Last but not least, the toe. It's like not square, but not point toe. It's giving. This is actually the shape of my feet. Like, it literally goes up like that. Does it? Oh, I'm lying. My second toe is longer than the wrap. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, I love how it's different. And I feel like it's so cute. It's actually comfortable. Like I said, Sam is one of the ones that generally takes time to make shoes a little bit more comfortable. And I feel like this one's more comfortable because it has a little padding on the inside, but also the rubber on the bottom. The fact that it's not that uh, slip and slide kind of material it gives cushion between the sole and actual padding inside the shoe. Like, I feel a difference walking in these than I do with another boot, you know? Overall, she's just really cute, and I know she's a moment. She's a, a conversation piece. She's going to stand out, and she's just gonna, she gonna do what she, she, she gonna do what she need to do, okay? And that's just that on that. And I absolutely love that for me, you know? Like, ah! I love it. Now y'all know me, when I love something, I do what? Get all the colors. <laughs> Are you dumb? Are you dumb? The fact that these weren't even the first pair that I picked up though, like seriously, color blocking black and white? <sighs> like, please get into it. Get into it. Y'all know I love a good color block situation, okay? Y'all know I love matching black and white with pops of color, but baby, get into this. Get into this. It's still color blocking some more. Like, I love the contrast. Hello? What? What? Do y'all see how this one is white in the front, this is black? Then bam, they switch in the back. Stop. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with Sam, my man Sam. Cause you ain't about it, okay? He do shoes better, he do boots better, he do everything better, he do fashion better. Y'all can't get like him, period. Better ingredients, better pizza. Better bitches, better money, my clothes better, my shoes better, I work harder. Fuck Lil Caesars, fuck Domino. Talk about it, be about it, and that's what motherfucking Sam does, baby. He gonna talk about it, and then he gonna be about it. Why is your tape stuck here? Where is my tape? Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now, Sam. I done gassed you up. All I know is she is fine as hell, okay? Fine as hell. Look at these boots, honey. Oh, please. All of them have that, that pink interior. Stop playing with her, because she is not one of them. And they is not one of you. <laughs> Listen, Sam, Sam, Sam knows what he's doing. Sam Edelman, if you ever in your life decide to work with an influencer, please call me. Like, I just feel like it is so hard as a size 11 footed woman <laughs> to find amazing shoes that are great quality at a decent price that actually look fire. Please. Like, Sam, you know what you're doing, bruh. Work with me. Dang. Did I get another color? Yes, I did. I feel y'all judging me to the screen, but y'all in my business. When I'm outside looking fly, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Please. Yes, I did pick up a third color. Uh-huh. Listen, I told y'all I'm refurbished now. I'm renovated. They done fix me. I love pink now. Y'all know how to get the pink. Come on, that pink. That's not a pink. This is pink. <laughs> I had to get the pink and it's like a yellow based pink not a blue tone it's yellow based so it has that brightness that real like berry juiciness to it mm. I don't think any of my pinks match it Ooh, child this is giving me starburst pink that's that starburst pink oh my god oh beautiful absolutely beautiful like I can't get enough can you get enough? You should not be able to, okay? Wrap that up like it's chrome. Oh, I got these super cute mesh booties. Now when I tried them on, I had socks on. Just ignore the socks. Baby, these mesh Carl Lagerfield. Lagerfield, I look at them and I say, Carl, 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 Carl. 
Ma'am, this mesh booty with the black gem bedazzled heel. Please, shut up. Quiet on set. Shut your lips. I just wanna grab the lips, twist them, please. Silence, be quiet. Moment of silence for the booties. Thank you, because worth it, worth it. I said for this one, I don't care if I can't walk in it. I don't care if my ankles are swimming in it, loosey goosey. I need these, okay? Luckily, I could somewhat get by. It's not terrible, um, especially if I wear like a black sock or something underneath so that I can put my little uh, corn uh, toe protector. <laughs> Cause it's point toe, but she is so, sexy like I just I had to have her like you see why look at the material look at look at the heel please please y'all listen the stores the stores are not playing with y'all if y'all not fine this fall and this winter that's on y'all, please, because it's not the stores. Well, up to my, for my girls that size 11. I, it's tough when you got bigger feet than that. It's already tough when it's 11. When you get bigger, child. Mm. It's hard out here for a pimp. I'm tripping, y'all. I almost forgot one. So these actually aren't that comfortable, but when you see them, you're gonna be like, um, hello. It's giving, I got a pot of gold, a leprechaun at the end of the uh, rainbow. <laughs> Low key, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I feel like looking on the screen is giving more leprechaun. <laughs> Y'all think this is cute? Am I tripping? It don't matter if so I'm keeping it actually. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Uh, I, I do want to know your opinion though. Like, am I tripping for these boots? I'm gonna wear them regardless. But do y'all think I'm tripping? <laughs> I mean, I search it for a pot of goats. <laughs> it's the back. Like, I feel like it's just in the, the, the super wide base of the I don't know. Something about it is giving leprechaun. Just call me a, a short chubby ginger, baby, because that's what it's going to give you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we are at the finale, the fashion of figure boots. And now this is where it gets more complicated because I have boots I didn't come in yet, boots I'm returning, and it's just, it's a whole lot of whole lot of. So let's just, let's just jump into it. So starting off with this pair here, um, did I wear her already? I wore her in a lot of pictures, but I just, I, I love the classic silhouette of these book, <laughs> the books, of these boots. I love the leather, I love the heel height, I love the point toe. I love everything about these boots. Now the thing with Fashion to Figure is all their boots, all their shoes are wide width. And I don't have wide feet, so my ankles be a little loosey goosey, okay? A little loosey goosey in the boots. But they're so, so good. Now I'm normally a size 11. If I didn't have that mm -mm 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 toe, I would have sized down to get a 10. Once again, I have normal width feet. I don't want to say normal. What's the medium? Medium with feet? Whatever. I, but I, these are so worth it. And because of this point toe, I did get 11. So it is a little big. But that's fine. Because I'm, I'm trying not to, 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 to irritate my bunion. Okay? But I just... If I had purchased these beforehand, I wouldn't have got the pair from Journey Collection that I said I purchased specifically to wear for like leggings and stuff to dress up on a night out. I feel like this boot does everything. Like she's such a beautiful multitasker. Like I dress her up, I dress her down. She automatically elevates a look. She just, every, every, everything about this boot is perfection, period. And that's just that on that. Like, oh, I love her. It, she fits beautifully. So, you know how Journey Collection has wide calf, extra wide calf? Fashion figure is like the extra, extra, extra wide calf. So if you just have like normally cute wide calf legs and you can fit most wide calf boots in other places, these are probably going to be too big for you. So for me, I got, I got, a, little, I got a little room. It doesn't look, it ain't nothing crazy now. 
Um, but she, she, my calves do get some air in these fashion figure boots, in all my fashion figure boots, which I personally don't mind. It's a rare occurrence. I'm going joy. Okay. Um, when I tell y'all beautiful, like I think these, I'm not going to say favorite, but just because when y'all see what I have to show y'all, you, you going to see why, but oh, just perfection in a boot. I absolutely love these. If you're looking for a black boot, please. This is the one. This is truly the one. It's versatile. It's a uh, knee high, moderate heel that you can actually walk in. And point toe, like you just, you can't go wrong. You absolutely cannot go wrong. And I will never get over this. Truly, truly will not. All right. I rambled on about that one long enough. To the salon. <laughs> These babies are the reason why I ran to make this purchase to begin with. I was so pressed over these boots, I bought them in two sizes. I said I need an 11 and a 10 just in case so I can see which one works because I cannot risk these selling out. And I feel like they, they might already be sold out. If they are, I'm so sorry. Please go on the wish list. They might restock. I don't know. Fingers crossed. <sighs> these boots are magical. That's it. That's the intro, the paragraph, and the conclusion. These boots are absolutely magical. Please shut your lips. Please. Shut your lips, please. The way these boots make me feel, the way they speak to me, and I just, as a person, as a woman, the way they speak to my being, my soul, I, please. Please, between the black boots and these, I, if you have nothing else, no other room in your budget, these two, please, please. These boots are literally magical, magical, magical. Y'all know about that because I'm alive. Listen. She's an icon. She's a legend. She is the moment. Period. Whew, child. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, baby, when you like that, you make a woman go back. So, next, I got these booties here. And I mean, look at them. You see why I got them. Like, blue snake print? Hello? <laughs> They're just so cute. And I feel like moderate heel once again. I feel like my, my feet swim in these a little bit more than the other ones. Maybe because there's less support here. There's a slit in the front. Um, so I have to be careful about what sock I wear with this. Um, and also, it's just a lot of room for my ankle to kind of just move around. As opposed to the boots where it's like clothes and there's more length. And I feel like maybe that helps. So these are actually quite dangerous for me to walk in. <laughs> Might lose my life, you know. No, no. Um, but I mean, hello. Like, can you imagine going out in style? Please. 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 Come on. Come on. <laughs> these are so cute. Uh, once again, y'all know me. If I like, I'm going to do what? Get it in another color. Get it in another color. So I also got it in this color brown. Just because I don't have that many brown shoes for anything. Especially comfortable ones. I just said my feet swim in these. I actually, I didn't actually try this particular one on. I just tried on the blue one. So they're really not all that comfortable. So I guess I still don't really have that many comfortable brown shoes. <laughs> But I do have some brown fits for this fall and winter, so I said, let me go ahead and, and pick these up while I have the chance, while they're on sale. Um, so yeah, it's a nice medium brown, a nice little dookie brown. Um, yeah, she's cute. She's cute. <laughs> Next, I have these thigh high croc boots. Now these are the Nadia and FTF collection. And I believe she came out with these last year. So they're running this back, which I appreciate and love because now I have a pair. And while 
What I like best about these boots is that it laces up in the back. So if you're like me, I mean, I have wide calves, um, but the difference between my calf and my thigh is quite drastic. Like my calf is already thick, 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 thick honey. Mm. But my calf is like, yeah, it's like a triangle. And so I feel like my issue with even the, the Journey Collection thigh high boots that I purchased, they don't account for such a drastic shift in calf to thigh ratio. It's like, okay, calf, thigh. I'm like, calf, thigh. Um, and so I appreciate that there is lace on the back so that you can actually like widen it to make room for thighs that thigh just a little bit more, okay? And um, this material is pretty malleable as well. It still has that cute slouchy effect if, you know, it doesn't fit exactly how you envisioned originally. It's a cute print and I feel like it can go with a lot of things, you know? And like, do you see that the shape of the leg? Like they know what they're doing over there. Now how do you know what she's doing? Little calf meat, okay, go back in for the back of the knee sweat. And okay, a little ventilation, period. They go to the thigh. <laughs> Come on, somebody. They know what they're doing over there. They know. Once again, I'm I will tell you guys, fashion of figure boots are not for the girls that can typically buy uh wide calf boots at most other places these are for the super juicy legged girls okay um because i tell y'all i have room in these boots and i have wide pretty wide calves so i love that they're making space for the girls that literally could not even think about buying thigh high boots anywhere else like i'm absolutely here for it period if that means stuff doesn't fit me perfectly like i love that Last but most certainly not least, we have, well, in person anyways, <laughs> we have this boot here, which is just like the one I just showed you, except in this natural uh, color. Um, it still has that crocodile print, but this, this material is a little more sturdy. I'm actually on the fence about this one, I'm not going to lie. This material is a little... She don't, she don't move as much as the other one does, so this one's a little more difficult to maneuver but i'm just like where else am i gonna find a boot this color that's thigh high so i feel obligated to make it work you know but i don't love it the way i love the croc print that i just showed you guys that one moves a little bit more this one is not i don't know i don't know i might need to fight her a little bit before she acts right we gonna see but I say, you know, I'm not going to find this color anywhere else. Like, who else is getting it to the girls like this? Please. Jamie, make a way. So I'm going to make a way out of no way. That's not on that. I'm going to quickly pull up the ones that I'm either waiting on or have returned. Um, and I'm going to explain why. <laughs> so I ordered a patent burgundy boot. And... It's pretty much the same style as the black one that I showed you guys. Um, I don't really have too many things that go with this, but I have a look in mind. And I said, Jamima, this is now or never. Like my goal for this season was to pick colors and prints that I'm not used to seeing or having access to. So I said, girl, you may not have the perfect six fits for it now, but it's gonna come. Now that you have the option, those fits could come. And I actually have a look in particular for these boots and I'm really hoping that it comes out cute. But we gonna see. Uh, they also had a, a, a thigh high version. I think it was suede as well. I'm not exactly sure about that. But the reason that I get that is because it's a lot easier to style knee high boots than it is to do thigh high boots. Like you have to have a very particular look to do a thigh high boot. So that's how I said, let me go ahead and get the uh, knee high because I'll get more wear out of it. Now, I got these black platform boots because I'm here for the height. I'm here for the height. And once you give me height, that means you're also going to give me comfort with the platform, okay? Mm. I, I keep throwing the word comfort around very loose. I want the height without actually having the height <laughs> in the heel that I'm feeling. From the diameter and the angle the acute angle of my foot and the heel and the shoe <laughs> baby give me the platform because i want to be six four but i don't want to be 
at a six four foot angle. Child, please give me a little five nine five ten angle, okay? So I got these platform booties in case I want to dress up for a more casual situation that doesn't require like a point toe, like or like a seriously dressed up look. But I still want to do something extra. Like, come on, okay? Extra is the name of the game. I also picked up the thigh high boots in suede and I also have the thigh high boots in leather that attach with the harness around the waist. Child, I don't think I'm gonna wear it with the belt, <laughs> but I still felt like I needed that boot in my life because I, I just did. Like, once again, where else can we get a freaking thigh high boot made for big juicy succulent thighs that actually also attaches to a belt at the waist are you kidding me like if nothing else that's just a centerpiece for my my, my apartment like put it on the coffee room table the coffee room crying put it on the coffee table in the living room <laughs> hang it up on a wall in a closet in a glam room in the beauty room in the closet. listen Okay, the goal is to wear outside, but if not, just hanging it up is enough for me. Because child, where else could I possibly ever? So like I said, I didn't buy it with the intention of wearing it with the belt. But I mean, you never know when that belt comes, we won't see how it look. <laughs> okay, period. For the most part, I feel like I got a lot of the same boots just in different colors. So for the thigh high boots, I also got it in patent black and I was super stoked and super excited about it. But the math didn't math in my head until I tried it on. Baby, it looks amazing, but I question how it'll work for the plus size body. So for me, my thighs to rub it up dub, baby, down to the kneecap. Okay, my knees rub it up dub. Alright. I'm talking about uh shaking cream on the knee. <laughs> I'm being a little dramatic, but you know the point is if you're wearing a patent boot that's thigh high and your thighs rub together, what do you think is going to happen? Sparks. Fire. Baby, you're a firework going on a watch. What? Baby, I put one boot on and I said, oh, mm, wait a minute. As cute and sexy as they look, this is not going to work. <laughs> And it kind of made me question like, mm, do y'all really want to put a patent thigh high boot on a plus size website? But I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that walks, you know, with my, my knees touching. When I move, you move, just like that. Maybe I'm the only one that walks with my, with my ankles rubbing together, I don't know. But for me and mine, I said, oh, as cute and sexy as they look, they won't have to go back because it, it, the math wasn't math for me. The circumference of my legs <laughs> were not mathing for me. So I also picked up the cowboy fringe boots and they were just too big and they were very like vlop vlop on my foot and not in a good way. Um, because of the material, it was on the softer side so it didn't have as much, you know, it didn't have as much, it was not stand up okay and not in a good way so sadly i had to part with her as well and let that dream go okay never thought i'd be the cow uh boy boot kind of girl here i am here i am well here i'm not because I, I sent her back last but not least i got the flat form sock boots and i remember trying this last year and then i working out and I assumed that it didn't work out. Well, it's not that I assumed. I don't remember exactly. But in my mind, I thought it didn't work out because I got the wrong size. So like I said, because I have medium width feet, I tend to go down a size at Fashion and Figure if it's a regular shoe. If it's point toe, I stay at the 11. Um, so for these, the platforms, I said I'm going back down to a 10. The, 10. the foot part fits decent, but the sock portion of the boot was very slouchy, very much drooping very much didn't have any kind of body to it and because it's a sock boot i cannot finesse it like i can finesse the other boots like i said fashion figure is boots for the thick 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 okay thick legged girls okay 
when you have a sock material, a naturally slouchy material, it needs to be fitted on the leg. So I was like, this is not a boot that I can finesse, <laughs> okay? It looked terrible, honestly. And I wanted that so bad, but not, not I'm thinking about it. I mean, I guess I could wear it with like shorts or something, but who's gonna be wearing shorts in the winter? Why am I rocking like this? <laughs> um, Cause they're a thigh high sock boot. I feel like those would be really cute with like leather pants. I got the black one and I got like the, the natural bone looking colored one. And I'm so upset. I really wish that they would fit. Um, I even briefly considered having them altered, but I'm just like, Chimila, it's, it's not that deep. It's not. You have 46 pairs of boots stemming, st starting from last year that you haven't even worn yet. So please relax, relax. Um, but yeah, so those had to go back as well. And I believe that's uh, that's it for all of the boots that I have purchased. Um, but yeah, I, I'm super excited to actually wear these out. I did take some pictures in some of them. Um, and I can't wait to post those on the gram. So make sure you comment, like, and you share my pictures. And you share my video. I'll put y'all on, okay? I'm going to have links for everything down below, including the ones that I returned. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you're not going to like it. So go ahead and enjoy, sis. I will have everything listed down for you below. So hopefully this video is not too, too long. I was trying to go through it, but sometimes I get excited and I be rambling. Da, 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 da. G -man, be quiet. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> oh, shoot. By the way. The lip that I'm wearing is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink, and this is the shade Koi, in case anybody wants to know. And I'm wearing it with a brown lip liner. Baby, these are actually pretty amazing. Like, I ate, I dripped a little bit of food on my chin, I did a little light little tap, I have not touched up since, since I first applied, and I'm like, it's not glossy, but it's not a flat matte either. It does have a little something to the lips, but the lips are very comfortable. Pretty transfer proof once it sets. Like, this is actually really freaking nice, and now I want all the colors. Oh, Maybelline. Wonder about Maybelline? They gonna get the lips together. Maybe the gloss, the lipsticks, the bullet lipsticks, the lip. Oh, no, this is nice. I got two colors from Ulta. I was just trying to, Jimmy, but this is not with the video. Goodbye, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later because what is what am I talking about right now?